Eddie, what did you just tell me about what you have to share with the women's circles? Well, like I was saying before, I don't. Th I didn't think I had anything to share because I've gone past the feminist stage. I've gone past the sort of uh, psychological and analyzing myself stage and trying to decide where I've gone wrong, etc. I've done all that, gotten through that, and I'm seventy. How old am I? You tell me. <laughs> seventy. Not seventy. Seventy-six. Seventy-six. Well done. And. Um, and I kind of, I kind of feel sad when I see other people around that age that are just so, feel they're so past it, done it, um, unhappy, unengaged, and no joie de vivre in life. Uh, and, and I think that's really sad. And you know, I think how did, and I don't feel that way at all because I'm quite busy and engaged and got all these projects going on. So. I guess I would say to people in their mid 40s, maybe that's when you come up to the real crisis, as I think, when you're sort of getting rid of the ex husband, <laughs> and your children are out of the nest, and you know, uh, maybe you haven't got quite as many expenses as you had, and you know, and you kind of think, that's it, life is over, where am I going to go with this? Um, and then you find after you get through all of that and you learn how to swim. Because I always said it was like my situation was like uh, being pushed out of a boat and told to learn how to swim. And when I learned how to swim, uh, then things opened. And I had one word I used to sort of rely on during that period when I was so frightened everything was going to go pear shaped, and that was trust. When I got really panicky, my heart was racing, and the palpitations were going, and the tears were coming, and everything, I would just say, just remember trust. And that, that word got me through a lot of sticky, sticky moments. Uh, so, and that's, and that's it, you know, and then I did trust and things came my way and I was very fortunate to get lots of funding mm. uh, to do, to study. Mm. So I've gone through various professions <laughs> and, <laughs> and I'm on my third profession now, um, studying homeopathy at the age of 76. And I've got plans after I finish this course, which in another two years. And you'll be coming to the women's circles. And I'll be coming to women's circles and, and, and saying, you know, your midlife is your beginning, not your end. It's not even the middle. It's, it's, it's the time where you have to think, what are my resources? Where can I, you know, go forth with this life and enjoy it? And that's what I have to say. Thank you.